Okay, 17 compared to the other problems is a lot easier. And some of the other problems are really kind of tedious to get through. I would consider this to be a very low hanging fruit, easy to do. So what do you do? I would expand it, you get x squared, you get plus one over x squared, then that middle term is gonna be plus two. Super simple to integrate. Let me just rewrite a little tiny bit. That's x squared, easy to integrate, plus x to the minus two, easy to integrate, plus two dx. What do you get there? x cubed over three, then you're gonna get, let's see, x to the minus one over minus one, so we'll say minus, and then two x plus c, all right? I consider it a good answer, but I'm gonna rewrite it, and that's gonna be x cubed over three, minus one over x, and then plus two x plus c. I'm gonna get a common denominator. That common denominator will be three x. You're gonna get x four, minus three plus six x squared plus c. All right, I wanna simplify that a little bit. And that's gonna be three x, let me write in order, x four plus six x squared minus three plus c. Let's get the red pen out and see how we did. So am I seeing this answer? X4, whoops, sorry about that. I'm seeing X4 plus 6X squared minus 3 over 3X plus C. Good to go. I do want to point out, though, depending on your teachers, this, would be, this might be considered a really good answer. This might be considered an even better answer. But again, your mileage may vary depending on your teacher. Thank you.